I'm with Shirley in this uh, specialty Chinese tea shop and we are trying uh, exotic tea called uh, Lop Song Su Chao. It's a smoky tea. I haven't drunk it in what 20 30 years. The last time I used to drink it was in England. It is a very smoky tea with hints of uh, lychee. So if you want to try some exotic teas, uh, they've got like thousands of varieties of tea here. And uh, this shop, I can't remember the name. What's the name of the shop? Yuan. Okay. Yuan tea. And it's in uh, Damansara Utama. China, the king, sometimes uh, they want to go out, went out uh, to others, I mean, to the other city. So uh, the king cannot, because the king wear the shirt, it is uh, like they said, very big costume. Ah, so uh, they cannot wear the the human big like costume. Uh, the king one. Uh, uh, so they have to wear the normal normal shirt to outside. So and then another guy follow him. He cannot say. I think that's Okay, uh, it's something like this. If, if now I understand she, what she wants to tell is, I understand during the olden days, sometimes king will go out to actually uh, act like a normal citizen to go and understand what is happening around the city. So they will change their uh, the, the clothes so that they do know who they are the king. So they will choose more, yeah. So, but the servant or the or the general or all their soldier uh, army cannot address in to that king ma, or emperor ma. so they need to but still need to pay respect ma. so they use this way ma. because they, they, they have to have to do like this in, 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 the, uh, in, the, in the palace, palace yeah. so they cannot do like this uh, you know, for uh, normally they need to kneel down, down then go and um, do kukong kukong to the, uh, the emperor ma. So, but when the times you are outside, you are in the restaurant, you can't do all this, then people know, oh, king is here, king yeah. is here, then cannot lose. So, what they do is, they use this meal. Because the king will serve them the tea, so they cannot say, uh, thank you, uh, uh, king, the king, cannot say like this. So, they have to do that. This is a way of like kneeling down. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's why. In the normal days, nowadays, when the time you drink tea, people serve you, you like this. Say thank you, I drink. Uh, normally two times. Uh. Thank you. Uh. When drinking tea, the traditional Chinese uh, method, they have very specific uh, ways of doing it. They mix the tea in a very small uh, pot or a cup with a lid and um, you drink immediately. They pour in the hot water and then they, they uh, pour out the tea uh, for you to drink in a small cup and you drink it immediately. And then when you want some more, they pour more hot water into the mixing cup, uh, into the teapot or the cup with the lid. And then you drink second round, third round until, you know, nine, ten round. And the amazing thing is every round you drink, the uh, taste and flavor and aroma is different. The first time you drink, uh, you get uh, a lot of fragrance. Then the second round you drink, there's more flavor. And then the flavor changes uh, in subsequent round. For example, the Lopsang Su Chao, after the third, fourth round, it's like drinking smoke because the smoke flavor is very strong. Uh, first round, it was the fragrance. The second one, the taste became very strong. Then the taste uh, became less and less until you can only taste the smokiness. And then towards the end you it's like you're drinking smoke it's very interesting so i think this is worth going to and also uh there are various types of teas you know there's some where the plant is uh, 80 years to 120 years old uh but there are tea different grown in different parts of china whether it's the mountain or whatever this one they're called rock tea where it's grown in the mountains and uh, the mineral content um 
uh, of the soil uh, gives different flavor and different health benefits so there are teas that make you energetic and there are teas that make you so sleepy you know you feel like sleeping after drinking it so you know i think if you organize a trip for you all it would be quite an uh, interesting experience so what i suggest is the tea actually is quite expensive but number of people can drink um uh, you know the 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 lopsang sucha we had was 27 ringgit per packet these are small packets for people to taste and then if you want then you buy the big packet lah so anyway uh if say five people go then you can each buy different type of packet so everybody tastes uh, five different flavors lah so just now two of us when we just tried one flavor that lopsang sucha um and if you have specific type of tea you want to taste whether the one that uh, makes you sleepy or the one that makes you energetic and not sleepy or you want tea that calm you down also they have they got different type of tea so we can each choose different types of tea so when you go as a group then you can taste uh, different types um and uh you know they they have various uh what do you call it uh terminology for tea they have black tea white tea yellow tea uh, green tea whatever colors that i never heard of also so um let me know if you're all interested we can go as a group and that'll be more enjoyable because then you can try out different types of teas If anything in this video resonated with you be sure to like it share it with your friends leave a comment and as always don't forget to subscribe